Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to portray about Euclid's contribution in the fields of mathematics. Euclid was an ancient Greek mathematician from Alexandria and often referred to as the father of geometry and who is known for his major work which is elements. Euclid's vital contribution was to gather, compile, organize and rework the mathematical concepts of his predecessors into a consistent whole, later to become known as Euclidean geometry. Very little is known about Euclid's life except that he taught in Alexandria, Egypt. He is an important historical figure because all of the rules we use in geometry today are based on the writings of Euclidean, especially the elements. There are 13 books of Euclid's elements. For book 1, it discusses about triangles, parallels, and area. Book 2, geometric algebra. Book 3, it is about circles. Book 4, constructions for inscribed and circumscribed figures. Book 5, theory of proportions. Book 6, similar figures and proportions. Book 7, Fundamental of Number Theory Book 8 Continued Proportion in Number Theory Book 9 Number Theory Book 10 Classification of Incommensurables Book 11 Solid Geometry Book 12 Measurement of Figures And last, Book 13 Regular Solids Those mentioned elements include the following volumes Volumes 1 to 6, it is all about plane geometry. Plane geometry is the mathematical study of geometric figures whose part lie in the same plane, such as polygons, circles, and lines. And volume 7 to 9, it is all about number theory. Number theory is a branch of pure mathematics devoted primarily to the study of the integers and integer-valued functions. For Volume 10, it is all about Eudoxus' theory of irrational numbers. Eudoxus showed that any irrational number can be approximately to any degree of accuracy by rational numbers. And for Volumes 11 to 13, it is all about solid geometry. Solid geometry is the traditional name for the geometry of three-dimensional Euclidean spaces. And there are five postulates on which Euclid based on his geometry. First postulate, a straight line may be drawn from any one point to any other point. Some may be stated as axiom. Given two distinct points, there is a unique line that passes through them. Second postulate, a terminated line can be produced infinitely. This postulate shows that what we call a line segment today was called a terminated line by Euclid. So the postulate says that a line segment can be extended on either side to make a line. Third postulate, a circle can be drawn with any center and any radius. It allows for the existence of circles of any size and center, say center A and radius AB. Fourth postulate, all right angles are equal. This postulate shows that every right angle is equal of 90 degree and right angles will remain same, so they will be equal. Fifth postulate. If a straight line falling on two straight lines makes the interior angles on the same side of it taken together less the two right angles, then the two straight lines if produced indefinitely meet on which the sum of angles is less than two right angles. And some of Euclid's important axioms. Things equal to same things are equal to each other. If A is equal to B and B is equal to C, then A is equal to C. 
Axiom 2. If equals are added to equals, the sums are equal. For example, if A is equal to B and C is equal to D, then A plus C is equal to B plus D. Axiom 3. If equals are subtracted from equals, the differences are equal. And for example, if A is equal to B and C is equal to D, then A minus C is equal to B minus D. Axiom 4. Things that are alike or coincide with one another are equal to one another. For example, segment AB is equal to segment BA. And for axiom 5, the whole or sum is greater the parts. For example, A plus B is equal to C. A and B is greater than 0, then C is greater than A, and C is greater than B. And that should be all from this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day everyone.